But if you start from D, then it will do more along the lines of what you want to do. It will look like that. And there you go. That looks a little bit more sensible, doesn't it? Do I still need Sparky? Uh, I think I might. I'm going to take Sparky with me just to see what's uh, what's going on. Now go back inside Sparky and connect E to F and H to G. Put Sparky in the small chamber so one bumper touches a wall and watch it go. You've just created your first robot circuit. Yay! Congratulations! Okay, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's finish connecting E to F and G to H, except that I'm going to start from H because that will make the circuit look like that as opposed to, let me show you what it would look like, you can probably imagine, but just to show you, if I started from G, it looks like that. So I'll start from H and go to G. There we go. Now I'll pick up Sparky and stick him in here. And let's watch what happens. Oh, nothing happens because he's not... Uh, he needs to be touching a wall. If he's not touching a wall, none of the bumpers will be active and Sparky will never do anything. He'll be just uh, a worth worthless bum all his life. But there we go. That's our first circuit, sort of. Sparky moves counterclockwise. Can you rewire it to go clockwise instead? Yeah, we can. Um, it's not even all that complicated. You can probably figure out how to do it just by thinking about it for a second. Uh, there's actually a solution on the right here. Yeah. And it tells you all the connections you need to make. You know, I'm not even going to bother reading that because it's fairly intuitive. All you need to do is... Uh, first, let me tear up all this wiring. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. So let's just think this out logically. If the bottom bumper activates, uh, Sparky should then move to the left. So, in other words, trigger the uh, the right, uh, yeah, so trigger the right thruster, except I'm going to, that looks bad, so I'm going to do it like this. Oops, didn't quite, uh, didn't quite get that. There we go. So now when the bottom thruster activates, Sparky will move to the left. And when then he hi then hits the left wall, his left bumper will activate, and then he should go up, meaning trigger the bottom thruster. And then he's going to go up until his top bumper activates, at which point he should go to the right, so trigger the, uh, oh, trigger um, this left thruster. But I'll start from here and do it like this. And then finally, it's, uh, you can just guess, because there's only one, uh, oops, I'll start from here, but there's only one bumper thruster connection left, so don't even have to think about it, just do up the last pair. Get out of there and let Sparky do his thing by turning on the remote control. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, I have to place him up against a wall. There. And now he goes clockwise instead of anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. Pretty straightforward stuff, not rocket science. Robots can signal other robots with their antennas. Connect a wire from Checkers' left bumper, A, to its antenna input, B. Okay. Again, just connecting a wire from A to B. So what will happen now is whenever Checkers is, uh, whenever his left side is up against a wall, his antenna will start beeping. Take Checkers with you. Take the shortcut and bring back scanner. Okay, I'm going to leave uh, checkers. I'm going to leave checkers there for a second. And here's scanner, who is still patiently waiting for us. Okay, so we have scanners and checkers with us now. Connect a wire from scanners is uh, oh, from sorry from scanners antenna output to one of its thrusters. Okay. Antenna output to any of the thrusters. So this is the antenna output here. And I guess I'll connect it to, just randomly, to the bottom thruster. There we go. Now bump checkers into the wall on the left and watch scanner move. Put scanner on the X. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put scanner on the X. Bump checkers into the left wall. And I'll turn on the remote control. 
See that? That's the work of the antenna. So basically what happened was because Checkers' his left bumper turned on, it activated Checkers' his antenna. And the antenna sent out a signal which got picked up by scanner. And since scanner's is, uh, antenna then turned on and the antenna output is wired to the bottom thruster here, scanner started moving up. Okay, uh, I guess we're supposed to take checkers with us, so I'll do that. I'll leave scanner there for now. An antenna signal is transmitted to all the robots at once, even if they aren't in the same room. Bump checkers into the left wall again so the antenna beeps, then look back in the previous room, scanner is no longer on the X. Oh yeah, I need to leave scanner on the X here. Pick up checkers, and I'm just going to watch from here. You don't even hear the antenna. You don't. You can't hear checkers' antenna because checkers is in the next room. But you can see the effects. You can see that uh, scanner moves up. So, so antennas basically have, uh, I believe, infinite range in the game, just like the remote control. The remote control that you carry around with you also has infinite range. You can control the robots from anywhere in the game with it. Robot radios have only one channel. That means that if all the robots try to send signals at once, only one robot's signal gets through. Just like in the real world, radio interference happens if you try to broadcast on the same frequency. Now you know the basics of wiring circuits in robots. Before returning to Robotropolis, we suggest you learn how to use sensors and parts from the toolkit to make some useful robot circuits. Press escape to return to the menu. I'm curious, what's through here? I think this just leads to... this is a shortcut. Yeah, which just takes us to the start of the start of the tutorial. Okay, we probably should do sensors as well, so I'll do that in the next video. But this concludes our tutorial on robot wiring. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I know I had fun uh, making it, sometimes. Okay, I'll see you later, folks.